Hello everyone, so in this video we'll see how to uh, interpret the regression line uh, to some extent. So here uh, when you have uh, data points as shown by the blue dots here and when you fit a line uh, using linear regression. Uh, so if you have ever wondered how uh, uh, the, uh, the software determines the values of the slope m and the intercept c, uh, it's through a process called method of uh, least squares so when you always fit a line uh, you you know that uh, you have a predicted value for any x value you have a predicted y value and the actual y value the difference between the predicted and the actual y value is called an error or it's also called as a residual so when you uh, fit a line uh, the whole idea is to minimize the sum of these errors However, uh, when you sum up these errors, you'll realize that they uh, sum up to zero. So, in an, uh, so one of the tricks to solve this problem is by sum, uh, summing up the squares and then minimizing the sum of these squares in order to get this fit. So, let's see how uh, in the software uh, there is a in jump uh, there is a uh, regression demonstrator. Uh, using which uh, we can actually uh, see how this process works. So let me switch over to jump and then you can go to help menu and then click sample data and here you can go to open sample scripts directory and here you can go to interactive demos and here you can see demonstrate reg regression. So here in the demonstrate regression, uh, it, this is a simulator uh, which uh, demonstrate regression. So here, uh, if in case you know the, since this is a simulator, you will have to enter the true insert, intercept and the true slope values and also the correlation and also the mean of the uh, x values and the standard deviation. For the time being, I'm going to leave everything to default. And uh, so now, uh, Actually, I'm going to reduce the sample size uh, to 10 uh, so that we can clearly see the uh, uh, the how the method of least squares works. So now, uh, in this, uh, let me make this bigger. So here, uh, uh, the next to the sample data, if you choose the red triangle option, you have several options here. So if you say uh, fit my line, uh, you'll, you'll see that there is a horizontal line here. And uh, you can basically use these uh, draggers to uh, adjust the uh, inter slope and intercept of this line, but we'll come back to that later. And now you can say if it uh, my residuals. So when you do that, you can see that uh, you can see the residual errors for each of these points on the fit line. Now, uh, when you move your uh, fit line using the dragger, you can see that uh, the the error values change so in principle uh, when the when you are fitting using the software uh, essentially the uh, the jump tries to determine the uh, slope and the intercept by trying to reduce the uh, error values however as i mentioned uh, previously uh, usually the errors will sum up to zero so what you will want to do is try to minimize the sum of squares. So if you click on the red triangle option here again, you can see show my squares. So here you can see uh, this is the sum of squares. So in principle, all the software tries to do is uh, tries to minimize the sum of these squares, which is shown here uh, as the blue bar. So if you try moving your uh, uh, cursor, uh, and dragging the line, uh, you can try to minimize the areas occupied by these squares and uh, try to minimize it. And then we can actually compare it with uh, what the software does. So this is what actually goes behind uh, uh, the scenes uh, when you are trying to use the regression analysis in jump. So now let's say uh, you fit a uh, uh, line so now you can see that you are kind of pretty close and uh, so the red line here is the uh, 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 the line fit by the software automatically uh, and uh, also you have other options where you can see the 
fit residuals are also the fit squares uh, as you can see the errors are somewhat overlapping so this is actually a very good uh, tool to understand how uh, the method of least squares works for uh, simple linear regression